Did you know that President Trump's many directives against immigrants, leading to a crisis at the southern border with Mexico, has mostly been written by a 34-year-old? Keep watching and I'll explain how Stephen Miller came to occupy such a powerful position in the White House, even though he has no formal expertise in immigration policy. My name is Bhavan and in this episode of Books in 5, we review Hate Monger by Jean Guerrero. We trust Jean because she is an award-winning journalist and correspondent with a specific focus on covering the ordeal of illegal immigrants in America. This book traces the life of Stephen Miller, from a childhood in multicultural Los Angeles to becoming Donald Trump's policy advisor and speechwriter. Miller has focused his efforts on a crusade against migrants, with the author showcasing how Miller has always been obsessed with the notion of an America under threat and how he must save it. Miller grew up during the 1990s in a California that was experiencing a political and demographic climate that foreshadows what the country as a whole has looked like over the past decade. With the state becoming more brown through both illegal and legal immigration, politicians were able to win elections by playing on the fears of white citizens. Miller heard these messages loud and clear as this experience has informed his life's mission to defend America. Miller was born into a wealthy Jewish family in Santa Monica, which afforded him many privileges, but he resented having Mexicans and other non-white people in his orbit. The author writes about Miller's awareness of white identity politics started early, as he was engaging with Rush Limbaugh and other conservative activists and influencers at a young age, and he was motivated to seek out the spotlight numerous times as a teenager. The book chronicles Miller's time in high school and post-secondary at Duke University as chaotic and filled with conflict as he deliberately sought to politicize his education and the relationships he would form with his peers and teachers. Learning from older right-wing media stars such as Larry Elder and David Horowitz, Miller spent these formative years perfecting the weaponization of language that he would first bring to Capitol Hill and then ultimately to the White House. Miller would spend his first few years out of university working as a communications staffer for Republican politicians in Washington, D.C., where he would spend the vast majority of his time and energy on attempting to stop any Obama legislation that would improve the immigration system. During this time, he came under the wing of Stephen Bannon, who showed him how to hone his messaging, and Miller grew enamored with Donald Trump as a presidential candidate, because they shared similar sentiments regarding the future of the country. Miller joined the Trump campaign 10 months before the election, and he immediately charged the rhetoric towards immigration as an existential problem that needed to be fixed, or the country would be doomed. By directly putting his words into Trump's mouth and utilizing his contacts with alternative right-wing media such as Breitbart to promote his messaging, the author writes how Miller was instrumental in the Republican victory. <laughs> Miller joined the executive branch as a senior staffer, where he surrounded himself with like-minded operatives and they rapidly began their mission to undo the previous regime's alleged legacy of leniency towards migrants. Miller was responsible for the cruel and brutal policies and executive orders carried out by both Immigration and Customs Enforcement and Customs and Border Protection over the past three years, including the separations of families who are seeking asylum from their children as a deterrent. While there have been numerous distractions and many people moving out of the White House as President Trump loses faith in their ability to be obedient, Miller has maintained unflinching loyalty towards the president and maintained his position. The author recounts Miller's skills in deception and misdirection in the politics of Trump's world, as he has stayed laser-focused on hardcore immigration policies. Miller is dangerous because he is able to couch rhetoric that should be beyond the pale in words that are merely politically incorrect, which serves to energize a base of angry white men. Rather than outright racism and white nationalism, the author details the terms that Miller uses, with culture and heritage amongst the most frequent, and the power this coded language has when it comes out of the mouth of President Trump. Stephen Miller is a one-man wrecking crew in Trump's orbit, and his force of will and personality has resulted in countless tragedies. It is important to understand his mentality and his life story.